something Jörn can explain better than me as a native of Sweden. It's a very good thing about Sweden. It's a law that says that you're allowed to camp or go or stay wherever you want for 24 hours. As long as you don't destroy anything or like steal stuff or break into other people's property which are uh, a fence around them, stuff like that. But in the forest, on the mountains, wherever you would like to camp, it's allowed for 24 hours, which there, is really there nice. There is no fence, yeah. yeah around it. Bringing us to cold weather, which is Grand Tetons National Park in Wyoming, which is arguably just as good in the summer as it is in the winter. We visited here on our road trip from New Jersey to California for our snowboarding adventure and the Tetons did not disappoint. Arguably some of the best views of the entire trip. This view is incredible. I know it's windy. I apologize. But wow, you can finally see the Tetons. Woo! I'm freezing. We scored some of the best powder days of our trip at Jackson Hole and Grand Targhee, which is the other ski resort on the other side of the Tetons. And then we celebrated in Jackson, Wyoming, spending our time in this cool lodgy town. The Brecon Beacons. This national park offers outstanding natural beauty and charming towns and villages. Located in South Wales, the Brecon Beacons is home to Penny Fan. South Wales' largest mountain, which is actually quite a manageable walk for anyone, regardless of fitness, ish. There are a number of stunning waterfalls and two incredible mountain passes which allow you to soak in the beautiful scenery from the comfort of your own vehicle if you're lazy like me. One to check out is the Black Mountain Road Circuit. It's actually amazing. Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is a great place to live the van life and camp out for about seven or eight months a year. Then it starts getting cold and you probably want to head down to Texas or something. This one's really popular with retirees. Retirees sometimes are drawn to historic places and Pennsylvania obviously is one of the most historic states we have. On top of that, if you're into fishing, which a lot of van life people are into, I will tell you from my experience in Pennsylvania, it is kind of hard to find an area where there isn't a lake, pond, or river, creek, whatever, that isn't within walking distance. In all the research I've done, Pennsylvania has always showed up in the top 10 for most places to camp, and they're always in the top 10 for best places to fish for van lifers. Pennsylvania has a lot of state parks that are easily accessible and free for campers. 